All right, guys, so I'm finishing up. Well, not really finishing, but just getting started on the CUDA and finishing up on my truck. I just put a new radiator, fan clutch thermostat, and a coolant temperature sensor in the truck. I'm gonna be towing the CUDA and my brother's 65 Coronet on a two car trailer. So I definitely don't want any cooling issues with the Cummins. I'm taking them both up to the big Mopar show in Carlisle, Pennsylvania. Super excited for that. So uh, what I'm gonna be doing now, I started to wrap my headers and I got this really nice wire loom. I'm gonna tie up all the wiring in the engine compartment, polish up the radiator, uh, get it all nice and, and show ready. I also had to get, I'm getting my hood painted because Unfortunately, I left it off next to the car when I was changing my oil and my dad ran it over and crushed the scoop and shattered it. It took a few days, but I got that all fixed back together, got all the all the sanding and fiberglass work done. So the hood's getting painted right now. I should have that back in a few days, but uh, see if I can get some of this video before and after of the engine compartment and see what kind of progress I can make on it little progress on the wiring it is hot as a mofo out here i think it's 106 with the heat index right now the only plus to that is that the electrical tape is very malleable and it does not wrinkle very easily when it's this hot outside i got the passenger side of the harness buttoned up pretty good um <clears throat> i still have to tie get this situation figured out and tie this bottom part of this harness but i got the main harness right here loomed up and it looks so much better it looks so much more clean and i ran it up to the headlight harness and just ran it and continued it all the way across so i'm very 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 pleased this is the best seven dollars on amazon that i've ever spent in my life so i'm probably going to order some more of this um this was i believe i can't remember if this was half inch or three eighths but this loom is open like it's uh it's a split loom, so you don't have to take any of the wires off. You can just put it on. This quarter inch loom uh, is a different story. This is a solid piece, so you gotta disconnect whatever wires, but this one is kind of like a heat shrink, so you heat it up and it'll shrink down. I put that one on this alternator wire, but I didn't uh, I didn't heat it up because I didn't really think I had to. I just taped it up on the ends to match everything else. So yeah, I got that and uh, it's gonna keep on keeping on. Keep doing the rest of this get everything cleaned up paint the headers from what you'll be able to see at least and then finish taping all this up and getting those wires organized but should be it after that and uh do some more final detailing should be it actually i'm going to uh repaint the core support because it's got some silver overspray on it and the paint is really faded it's almost like gray colored now so i'm probably going to touch that up and paint that but uh other than that, everything, I'm very pleased with how everything's turning out and how everything's looking. Well, here we are. Here we are a few days later. I think I got everything pretty much as good as I can get it to my ability with my given time schedule or time left until the show. Um, and there's still stains on the radiator and stuff, but repainted the whole front accessory drive water pump timing cover thermostat housing repainted the headers got all the stainless hardware uh, and got everything wire loomed that probably took the longest i would want to say out of everything but everything's nice and wire loomed uh, i repainted all the brackets polished the heads uh what else i ran that loom all the way through the entire harness for the headlights and everything um I got this painted because this was just regular galvanized pipe fitting, I guess, for when I hooked up my heater, but I got that painted so it looks a little bit better. Um, I put some loom over this. It's that that cheap fake braided fuel line, so I just put that on there to cover that up, make it look a little bit better. I think it's definitely looks a lot better under the hood than it did before. It's tried to touch up some of the paint on the uh, tubular K-member um let's see what else oh yeah i touched up the paint on the core support for the radiator i had one of my friends come over and help me out and he polished the wheels and he also polished these door panels for me while i was doing doing everything else so these are done and they turned out pretty a lot better than i thought i would honestly 
Doggo! Shelby! But yeah, I got all that. I uh, got the interior all nice and cleaned up. That other door panel's on there. Window cranks on the back. I just put some like Christmas tree clips on the back door panel because I don't have any armrests. I put LED lights in for the dome lights. I uh, got a new passenger visor because my old one was really beat and the stitching was ripped and it was falling apart. So that's fixed. Everything's pretty much buttoned up. This is the most complete that this car has been pretty much ever. Clean up the door jams a little bit because there's a bunch of compound and stuff inside. But other than that, the door panels are a little rattly because I didn't put any sound deadener or the plastic sheeting that's supposed to be in behind those other than that cleans up pretty good i'm i'm pretty impressed um how clean it is i i never ever ever clean this car this much which it's making me kind of regret it i wish i would more because it looks better obviously when it's clean and i did get the hood painted i got black anodized they were look really purple on the video, but they're black. Hood is painted satin black, and it's dirty as hell right now from sitting under this tree. Stainless rivets on that. Aluminum rods that I made on my friend's lathe. Um, all stainless hardware. That 8,000 pound truck ran this hood over, and I'm very surprised it was repairable. Uh, the hood struck, or these hood sports didn't even bend, which was very impressive. Also, I put like three coats of wax on this thing because, of course, I live on the East Coast and we get hurricanes. So there's a hurricane that's supposed to be, it's not a huge one, a little one's coming up. Of course, it's supposed to be torrential downpouring. When I leave tomorrow to go up to Carlisle and uh, it's supposed to rain up there also. So I'm going to try to keep it as preservable as possible with being clean and put as much wax as I could on there so maybe I could just wipe it down because it's supposed to be sunny and nice on the big day on Saturday 